Have you ever wondered how many calories you'd burn if you walked 50,000 steps in a day? Yes? Me too. Before COVID-19, I challenged myself to take 50,000 steps in a day to find out how long it will take me and how many calories I will actually burn. Yeah, it took me that long to edit this video. According to the World Wide Web, 10,000 steps burn between 400 to 500 calories. Obviously, that changes depending on your physique, gender, and age. But let's just go with 500 for now. If that number is correct, I would burn 2,500 calories just by walking. But how long does it take to take 50,000 steps? I wanted to find out. I got up and started my day by taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Living on the 36th floor has never been a struggle until that day. By taking the stairs, I increased my step count by 1,500 steps within about 10 minutes, which I thought was a great start. I grabbed my headphones, started a new book from my Audible library and zoned out. An hour later, I was 7,330 steps away from my apartment. Next step, walk home and hit the gym. When I arrived at the gym, I had already finished 13,500 steps, which at that time felt amazing. My feet and legs felt great and I was motivated to get after my workout. To increase my step count, I walked two laps after each set to make sure I'll hit 25,000 before breakfast. Obviously, that wasn't enough, so I had to add another 70-minute walk on the treadmill, which brought me to 25,017 steps by 11.25 a.m. After 13 miles of walking, I decided to rest and get some work done on my computer. I have to admit, I was a bit tired and scared of how my legs would feel after sitting for two hours. This is what happened when I started walking again. <laughs> for the rest of the day, I was mentally exhausted. Walking in somewhat circles without a destination besides hitting 50,000 steps was challenging. Around 35,000 steps, I got really impatient. I wanted it to be over. I couldn't listen to any more podcasts and the lazy voice within me got louder, questioning my challenge and telling me to stop. I'm at 35,000 steps and I'm getting impatient, very impatient, because I know 15,000 steps is gonna take me another two hours of walking and I can't listen to the podcast anymore. Like now, my mind is just going anywhere. Like, it's just like, stop, stop. Like, why, why are you wasting so much time? Just go home. Obviously I kept on walking and pushed through the annoying part when all of a sudden my mood changed drastically. Not gonna lie, the last 5,000 steps were horrible. Straight up horrible. All I could think about was uh, taking a shower, drinking water, I mean, I had water with me, but I was just like, all I wanted to do is, I can't even run anymore. All I wanted to do is just lay down in a bathtub, sit down and be done with it. it. Takes too long. I was, and I'm still impatient. I'm not done yet. Frustration, anger, physical pain, all kicked in at the same time while I still had about 2000 steps left. At 9 p.m. I finally hit the 50,000 steps and I was relieved and happy that this challenge was over. I felt amazing because I pushed through pain and finished what I started. So let's talk stats real quick. According to my Apple Watch, on that day I burned 2,412 calories, 4,603 in total, I walked 25.6 miles, and I took 50,726 steps. I'm really happy I did this challenge, and I want to finish this video with the raw footage of me signing off that day, and I hope you got something out of this video that you can apply to your own life. Now I'm happy. 50,000 steps, I finally did it. Started at 7 a.m., finished at 9 p.m., 25 miles. I have to say it is a mind game, a big one too. Cause like the first 25,000 steps, you like, you have a lot of energy and you just do it and you feel like, okay, I'm invincible. And then halfway there, um, I think it was mm, step I don't know, around 30,000, all of a sudden um, I got into my head, I couldn't listen to any podcasts anymore. My feet started hurting after walking for, for so long and then you just like start thinking, you're like, why am I doing this? What is the purpose of this? But it also reminded me of the gym itself. You know, when people go to the gym and they have a, they have a goal, they wanna lose or gain some weight, we always want everything immediately. Like, we, we wanna see progress immediately but that's the point you need to be patient and you can only take one step after another there are no shortcuts like there, there there was not a single shortcut for me to just be like all right i'm just gonna hop over here and that will add 10,000 steps to my count impossible same thing with gaining weight losing weight you have to take every single step and the most important thing is 
do not stop. Keep moving forward and you will get closer to your goal.